Hello everyone, we are back with Final Fantasy V. We're heading for the finale now. Let's, uh, let's go. Not into a Gargamira. Make me fight these guys. I think we've got every monster killed except for two. With any luck, Ulta Wright won't screw me over. Okay. Let me just make sure I have what I want. You got a flame shield. I don't want you to have an air knife on. Uh, let's give you an... Give you an ice shield. Paralysis and toad. I'm gonna give you the gen... Uh, you got the ribbon on. Okay. You got Confusion of Mini. Alright, I'll give you this. Okay, we should be fine. I think we're good to go. Okay. I'm curious on how difficult this guy is compared to the original. Does he have any counterattacks that are going to screw me over? I gotta be careful about that, but at the same time, let's just throw everything we have at him and see. You are too late. <laughs> Finally, it is in my grasp. The greatest power ever known. That which can control the universe. The power of the void. Ah, oh, shit, he's a tree. I will crush all who stand in my way. I think I'll begin with your precious friends. I hope you'll enjoy watching them get sucked into the void. I'd rather not watch this. Super rude. Oh no! Boko's wife, Coco. Oh no, the two people that are here sit in mid. Stop it! Let them go! <laughs> and now you too will meet your end inside the void. Wait, if they're getting sucked into the void, then where do. Since we're in the void, in the interdimensional. Okay, whatever. Do we just get sucked like deeper down into it? Like, what's going on here? Scratch my back, but I can't reach it. There we go. But stand up. Dead? Is he that Kelger? Grandpa! Gallif! Enter the Dawn Warriors! But, Lena, Ferris, Kryle, we'll hold off the void. You kids, take care of X-Death. The only ones who can save the world from the power of darkness are the Warriors of Light. Now you! That's you! Now go! Us Force Ghosts will, will handle this. What? 
Why is the power of the void disappearing? No matter. Now take this. Father! Papa! They're like, uh uh uh, he didn't say the magic word. No! This is it! Take your chance! Destroy X Death! Onward, Poyers of Light! Yeah, you can run away at that point if you really want to. There's an achievement for doing so in the, uh... In the other version. X-Death, you better get ready, because here we come. Oh fuck, I never... okay, no. That's less than ideal. This couldn't have started worse. Why did you cast him off a bard? Is that the redstone first? Okay. I hate bosses that start off with just insta-killing two of your characters. It's the fucking worst. At least they didn't kill, um... Lena. That would have been horrible. Alright, let's see if he has some counters going now. Oops, actually no, before we do that... I don't know if, uh... Slow is gonna do anything to him, but... We can try. No, didn't think so. It's fine, though. Alternatively, I could cast Meteor. Honestly, Meteor might actually do more damage overall to this form. Death was engulfed by the void. No! Why? The void was mine to command. Could it? Well, guys, we win. He did get a chance to attack. He fucking white hold two of my characters right at the start of the fight. He got everything he deserved. Now he can get a classic case of go fuck himself. I am Neo X Death. All memories, dimensions, existence, all that is shall be returned to nothing. Then I too can disappear forever. Fuck. Bitch just doesn't want to die.
Yeah, I didn't think that would actually work, but I had to try. The Bahama would actually be better on this, because there's four parts to them, and you're not splitting all four. And, you know, Meteor does a random... random hit, right? So... Like I said, I don't typically like this strategy, but... Using this strategy, I was able to kill this boss without him landing a single hit on me in the, uh... In the, um... GBA era. Well, I didn't just use Mega Flare twice. I used Mega Flare... Uh, four times because of Quick. I could have used it five times if I had him hit him. Uh, I should just mimic. Why did I? Why did I never mimic it? What do you think? Some of these parts can actually be killed with break and instant death, but it's not really worth the effort of trying to, to get it to work. So here's one Mega Flare, right? We're casting quick. Two, three. And then if you count the other two mine, I mean, that's nine me Mega Flares from one set of Quick. This guy's got some HP to him, like, look at that. He is withstanding. Oh, one, one, one of them's dead. Which one did, which one dropped off? Oh, two of them dropped off, okay. Only one part's left. Alright, we win. <laughs> no effect. <laughs> By the way, Neo XS boss team is one of my favorite boss teams in the game. Alright, in Final Fantasy. The Black Mage just seems so good. And there you go, he didn't actually land a hit on me. Um. I don't like using that strat because it's way too easy, but at the same time, this was an achievement run stream uh, of the game, so... That's all I wanted to do. Dr. B, the Big B. In the beginning, there was only the Void. But from the void came four essences. They formed the crystals, and the world was born. Hope blessed the earth. Courage blazed with flame. Devotion turned water into the seeds of life. Passion for knowledge spread wisdom on the winds. If ever the void threatens to engulf the world, though, so long as the four essences still exist in mankind, light will be born anew. It is from the void that the four essences will rise, and once again they will shine bright. A way to exploit, yeah, like, that and the fact that I have played FF5 enough to know what general weaknesses most enemies have. It, was, it wasn't too bad. I do want to do a uh, four hero fiesta run of this eventually, so uh, you can expect that in the in the future. I've never done that. I want to.
I love this theme. It's really good. Look, they're crapping stars. Or they're pissing stars. One of the two. The Void is still here. But why? We beat X-Death. Is it because the crystals are all gone? Will the world be engulfed by the Void? She's uncontrollably shitting now. Hope, bless the earth. That was the final boss, Biggie. We just beat him. Courage, light the fires. Devotion, breathe life into the waters. Passion, spread knowledge on the winds. How you doing, Biggie? You missed a good show yet last night. movie night we watched uh the tv show the first three episodes of the shrink next door i think people really liked it hey, look new crystal that one's in the pyramid though oh shit this one showed up in the history falls i got it showing up where the epitaphs railed so the fire crystal will probably be underwater in that uh a sunken cave yep with the wind crystal showing up probably at the island trying. I forgot about this. Just having some breakfast? Mmm, breakfast. I guess the wind crystal already appeared. Hey look, everything's back to normal. Lex is back. What are you having for breakfast? Share with us, Biggie. The world, it's being reborn. Oh, but being reborn, but it's being restored. And the crystals as well. There was still power left in the crystal shards. Thank goodness. Lena, Ferris, Kryle, it's because you took such good care of the shards. You did a pretty good job yourself, buds. Don't forget Grandpa! Now the wind will return to Tycoon. Correct, my dear. Bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Mm. What? They're dead. Grandpa! Father! Papa! Kelger, Zizat. The world still needs you. It's far too soon for you kids to be joining us. Go, return to your world. The one you saved. Always family trauma. Here are you! Look at that, he comes to our rescue one last time. This is the greatest dragon. I don't know how he's gonna get us out of here though. How the fuck's he gonna fly out?
it's we did it team when's my achievement popping up grandpa the letters arrived dear Sid and mid how are you it's me cryo Somehow, we made it back alive. The final battle feels like it was just a bad dream. Since then, I've traveled all over. Everything so, seems so peaceful now, like it was before. But the fact that there were actually some towns that disappeared after the worlds were merged. The Chancellor Tycoon seems quite happy. However, Ferris seems worried about her pirate crew. Somehow she went through that window's bars. <laughs> I don't think the windows actually had bars, but... Everyone in Ball is worried, since they have no heir to the throne. Um, aren't you the heir to the throne? Cryo? Make that move, king. Or queen. I think they referred to that Moogle as a him earlier, but I don't know. Maybe I'll be queen. Yeah, in my dreams. That would be pretty cool, though. Butts went back to his hometown. He's not giving up traveling, but he said he wanted to spend time near his parents before he set out again. Skim birth the Yoshi eggs. Oh, Bogo and Coco had their chicks. Baby Chocobos are the cutest. You simply must go see them. Oh, look at that. That's super cute. It's been a year since then. Leonard and Ferris are busy running Tycoon, and Butts is off on another of his journeys. I think I'll go back to that place, to where Grandpa's resting. Guardian tree. If any of the others happen to drop by, no, I'm sure they'll come. Tell them I can't wait to meet up again. Trial, you did an outstanding job. You all did. Dude, why is Sid remembering us getting blasted by x -Death? First off, he wasn't there. Secondly, he wasn't even here for this. He's just remembering when we told him about this. But... Lena getting shot with an arrow. Lena getting poisoned walking on plants. And collapsing. <laughs> Lena being heartbroken and collapsing. Lena. Oh, Sildra.
Sild or uh, Ferris getting perved on. Ferris. All right, then he goes, we haven't hit the credits yet, and this is probably the longest we've had so far. Which is funny, because as far as stories goes, this is rather bare bones compared to FF4 was. On its own? Easily a 9 out of 10. This was great. I enjoyed this. I love this story, even though, as I just said, it is rather bare compared to some of the others. But the battle system in this game is a lot of fun. There's a lot of, like, intricacies that you can do with it. Trial. I didn't, don't think it was too hard, but then again, if you don't level up as much as I did for the achievement, there's some challenge to be had there, and your jobs make a huge difference. The world's pretty cool, the monster designs are pretty cool. Like, it's just a lot of fun the way they did this. <laughs> the Guardian Tree. I think there's more story here than in FF4. If Grandpa hadn't saved me back then. The crystals have been restored and everything's peaceful, but for some reason I'm sad. I guess it's just that... Since Grandpa died, I've been all alone. I mean, there might be, but... FF4 always felt to me like it had more of a, like... complete story, I should say. That, that, that's, that's, that's wrong, though, because this game's story is definitely complete. This game's just a lot more wacky than uh, 4 was. Unless you count 4's needless deaths, like Yang killing him, not killing himself, but uh, sacrificing himself to stop the cannons from blowing up, and then they blow up anyway. It's like, you didn't do anything. You just locked yourself in a room with exploding cannons. Or Sid somehow surviving that. I do not think Sid should survive that fall. That was ridiculous. Unless, of course, Sid is actually the omnipresent god of the Final Fantasy universe. See you, Grandpa. What are you talking about? You're not alone. Yeah, we're hanging out in the tree. We're here with you. Fuck up, kiddo. Everyone's here. You all made it. As if there were as any doubt, like I'd forget about a friend after everything we went through. Everyone, you... There's no reason for need for tears, Kryle. This is a time to be strong. If Galif were here, he'd laugh at your blubbering, kiddo. Oh shit, that bird just shit out flowers. You're right. He's probably laughing right now. The crystals have regained their power. This time it's up to us to protect them. Like Dad and the others did. What? No, they didn't. Say, you hear that guy? You hear that? Aye, that I do. Grandpa's voice? It. No, just the wind blowing through the trees. Or the rippling of the water? Or the crackling of fire? Or the shifting of the earth? Dude, I don't know about you guys, but I can't typically hear the shifting of the earth. Something's wrong if you can. <laughs> no, no, I'm not sure what it is, but...
I can hear it. Yes, it feels warm somehow. Shitting up the pan it? Nah, she likes them to be silent because she thinks she's hiding her treats. Let's go. Okay, so first off, the Warriors of Dawn, they didn't protect the crystals. I mean, it, we're not joking about sick. Uh, Dorgan may have. I don't know if he did anything, but he got sick and died, so. Fucking a lot of good he did. But Galuf, Zizad, and Kelgar all went back to their world and left these crystals unprotected. I don't think you can say the Warriors of the Dawn did fuck all other than seal X death on this other on the uh, in this other place was planet and then was like, alright, see you guys. Hey Jeremy, welcome. You're just in time for the credits. So what did you guys think of uh Final Fantasy V? Um interestingly enough, the first boss, uh the first form of X death was harder for me than the second. Harder because he started off the fight with a fucking double white hole attack, which is absolute garbage. The second half, uh, Neo X death didn't get a single hit on in on me. He tried. He missed. fun game. Uh, sadly, we're not going to see David Ribbs Carrillo in the uh, in there anymore. So, we modified this, this is what we got coming up. We got Golden Light, then Tales of Eternia, then Voodoo Vince, and then finally the Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. Take a little Final Fantasy break. I got, got the business relations division. That's what, the, what they were running towards. Tayo, out of uh, Keisuke Kihara and um, Aki Kono, who's your favorite staff member at <laughs> Square Enix? Or could it be Noriko Ikeda? Takashi Hasegawa? Localization division. English translator was Dan Gideon. They only had one person? Oh, okay, so there were two. So, how about now, Tatata? Fair enough. I forget it was. Amazing Incorporate. There's a few bits of music that always makes me think of FF6. This is one of them, and I don't know why. You're your favorite Square Enix employee? Hey, Jeremy, since you work for Square Enix, can you get them to bring Dragon Quest X over here? In English, preferably? Or at least just remove the, uh, the IP block on Canada?
Kenichi Sujimoto, they sure got silly to play the trumpet. I'm kidding, Kenichi did a good job. Hirito Uga, silly should have played that. We're gonna DQ4, 5, and 6 on PS5 uh, and PC and Switch. They need to fucking put the uh, Dragon Quest games on PC. But no, I don't want that as an or because they already exist. We can already play them. Dragon Quest Ten doesn't exist over here. We need to be able to play it. At least get us the fucking uh, offline version. You, you can try, but that's even better. Just you know, subtly stick it on their desk or something. Samantha Labs, guys, Samantha Labs. We know her. She comes to stream sometimes. She hangs out in our chat. She's so awesome, too. Doug Bones. Alright, fair warning about Golden Light is I haven't actually loaded it up yet, guys, so... It'll take a moment for me to get it all set up and ready to go. But it is installed. It's so sad because this the section here is where you'd see David Ribbs Carrillo, but you don't see him there anymore. Did he retire? Did he quit Square? You should be running every game you own simultaneously at all times. If only I had a computer that could do that. Tyle, what's your favorite thing about the QA department? By the QA department, I just mean any QA department. Just in general. What are my plans for FF16? Uh, I'm going to play it on my own, and then when I get to it on my stream, that's when I'll play it. That way it gives it time for other people to have their viewing of it, and then I'll just play it when I get to it on, on in, in the order. Because I am almost certainly going to suck at the game, and I don't want to be that bad when I stream it for you guys. I know, typically I'm already terrible when you guys watch, so it shouldn't be any different, but it's a matter of internal pride. And there's that. There's also that. Fortunately, I managed to avoid anybody actually doing that, though I almost did with, um... Dragon Quest XI, but I had already played it. But they tried to come in and tell me stuff that happened, and that was super rude. You always probably fun when you just need to write reports and other jobs to fix shit. When it's also your job to fix shit, QA is miserable. <laughs> Especially because you take those reports, right? You determine what, how to fix it, and then the company's like, nah, don't do that. And you're like, but we... but. We need to fix this. And the company's like, nah, nah, dog. Speaking of spoiler, I landed the 16th game in the series on this Final Fantasy. Fuck, I didn't know that. Your job's QA, Vector? See, Vector, Vector there. He can give us the first-hand experience of what it's like to work in QA. I don't work in QA. I work with QA at my company. And sometimes these people are... The greatest. But you get that random new person. To the fans across the globe, both past and present, and to the crew who brought the originals to life, we offer our profound and heartfelt thanks. But you get this random new person who just comes in and you're just like... <laughs> what are you asking? What, what ability is that? Ah, shit, my crowd is level 52, and here's all the abilities she knew. <laughs> Great. It's 
71 out of 74. In case you're wondering, I could have mastered every job on every character, but I opted not to. Uh, because Bart's was the closest to getting all the jobs mastered, so I just I just went with him instead. You report everything, but they don't fix everything. Exactly. 72 out of 74. Barris, or Lena gets to fight Biblos. I don't even know what that ability they're using is. You report everything, but they don't fix everything. You just do what you can and hold the uh, developers accountable when they cut corners. As best you can, anyway. But, Freelancer. We did it, team. Abilities land, 74 out of 74. I didn't need the other characters to have all the jobs mastered, so I just didn't do it. Game, give me my achievements, by the way. The end. Yeah. There we go, we got the achievements. Four, four hearts together, field research professional, and master of five. We got all of the achievements, you guys. We did it. That is gonna be it for Final Fantasy V. Thank you for viewing YouTube. I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Final Fantasy V. I know it was more of a casual achievement run than, uh, than a, um, a challenge run or something like that, but uh, I had fun nonetheless. This is my first playthrough of the Pixel Raymaster. I'd like to revisit it for the four-job fiesta sometime. So let's uh, let's look forward to that in the future.